So if you're anything like me before I made this video, you're probably searching for a way to batch change file extensions on a Mac. And lucky for you, during my research, I didn't find much, but what I did find is that there's a program built into Mac OS X that allows you to create your own application to convert file extensions on multiple files to whatever you want. So to find this, we go into our applications, we click Automator, and we're greeted by the program which is asking us what type of document we want to make. We click Application, click Choose, and then when it opens, you see that it's a pretty intimidating user interface, but what we're doing is extremely simple. We go to the left side under Actions, and we find Files and Folders, and we click it. And then our first option is to ask for Finder Items. It's the top of the list. This is what we're going to drag over into the Workflow panel. And from here, all we need to do is make sure that it says Start at Desktop, and then we check the Allow Multiple Selection box. From here, we go back over to our list and we find Rename Finder Items. It's about three-fourths of the way down the list and we drag that over too. When you drag it, it opens up a dialog box that's letting you know that this is going to change file extensions and change your original files and it's going to ask you if you want to make copies so that they're preserved. I don't need this, but if you do, click Add. I'm going to click Don't Add. Then from here, we have a new panel that opens up. We change the add date or time drop down box to add text and then we go over to the right and we find the after name drop down box and we change that to as extension. And for this example, I needed to figure out a way to batch change file extensions so that I could edit the new iPhone HEVC video codec files in Premiere Pro because natively from the iPhone it won't open the dot move files but if you change them to just dot mp4 just changing the extension it will work so what we're going to do is drop dot mp4 into the add box and then from here all we have to do is save it so we go up to file save you can title it whatever you want to i'm going to title it mp4 converter not mp money sign converter we're gonna make it save to the desktop and we're gonna click save. So you'll notice that it gave us a new icon on the desktop called MP4 Converter. So we can close Automator here and it actually automatically opened it for us but we're gonna close it and pretend like it didn't. I have my folder here with the files that we're going to change and just to provide proof that these files don't work in Premiere the way they come from the iPhone, we're going to go into the project here and we're gonna try and drag the original files in. And we'll see it says codec missing or unavailable for all three files. So we go in, we open our converter, it opens up the desktop, we want to navigate to where our files are at. I have them in the iPhone 8 HEVC folder. I have a folder for change these. You can select all three of the files here and all you have to do is push choose and it automatically does it and we see it's already done and you'll see that it keeps the .mov format that was originally there but it only does this because I already have OS 10 showing file extensions we'll see that if we highlight them go back to Premiere and drag them in it will import them and they're right there and we can watch them. So it's a pretty simple way to make your own application that allows you to change file extensions on a Mac and I found that the, there was really no tutorials or anything on how to do this other than manually for the Mac so hopefully you found some use of this hopefully it helps you and thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one.